<laughs> yeah, you see the ass on that girl? Fucking incredible. What? What do you mean I'm on the air? Fucking buzzer's supposed to go off, you goddamn assholes. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's November 18th, and uh, this is uh, the good news. Uh, you know, not a lead story, but, you know, I really have to make it the first story because there was, like, a bunch of stories about whaling. I don't know why. It's just, like, I don't know. Coincidental excess of whale interest in the news. Um, so the Japanese, yeah, they're, you know, sending, I guess they're allowed to go hunt some humpback whales, you know, so they're going to go out and get 50 of them, you know, harpoon them and drag them back home and cut them into little pieces. And, uh, you know, there was another story about these whaling villages and, you know, they're, they still farm the little local whales, I guess, you know, and drag them into shore and cut them up and, you know, and they, they take the, the kids from the schools and they drag them to watch the whale slaughter, you know, and the kids are throwing up and shit and it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's tradition, it's tradition, they must learn the tradition. Um, and then the other story was this uh, whale that swam a thousand miles up like the Amazon River. <laughs> it's like, yeah, well, I guess they're swimming up the fucking Amazon River for a good reason. Uh, you know. Uh, but anyway, can you imagine a thousand miles? You know, that's a long way for a, it was, you know, it's one of baleen whales, which means it just eats plankton and stuff. And, you know, I mean, there's a lot of shit in the river, but, you know, it had to be kind of, kind of rough for a whale. You know, river, it's, you know, big whale, you know, it was like seven tons or something. Big whale. Um, so anyway, yeah, let's get to some real news. Um, well, this was really this is a leftover from yesterday, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, yeah, there was this restaurant had a you know they they uh, broke some Guinness record by making some twenty five thousand uh, dollar dessert, <laughs> and it's just kind of funny they got they got closed down for <laughs> for mice and uh, uh, roaches, and you know it's just kind of funny. Yeah, it's irony twenty five thousand dollar dessert made in a place that gets closed down for rice and mice and, and roaches. Um, you know, I would give you a fair warning. I used to work in the restaurant business, and you know, you unless the food is really, really hot, you don't eat it. You know, I mean, don't eat anything cold from a restaurant, okay? Unless it is going to burn your finger when you touch it, don't eat it. <laughs> I mean, you go ahead and eat it, but you know, you're just putting your life and your own uh, at risk. Um, so anyway, this just fair warning. Um, obviously, this newscast isn't sponsored by any local restaurants. It's also not sponsored by crazy lunatic gun nuts who think, you know, C4 should be on sale at Walmart. Oh, man, there's a lot of crazy people on YouTube. That should be a news story. Uh, okay, uh, so the U UN, there was a, the scientist, a, another one of these reports on global warming, and basically, I, you know, when you read through it, it's just, they're just kind of taking the old reports and put it all together. Um, you know, so it's the same old stuff, you know, yes, the sea, the ocean's going to rise four meters and four feet or whatever, and all kinds of chaos will ensue and blah, 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 blah. And, uh, yeah, it should be taken seriously. I mean, the carbon issue is a big issue, and, uh, and you know, uh, yeah, really. I mean, when, we're, when you know, the shit hits the fan, we're all going to be saying, oh, man, jeez, we were really assholes for not paying any attention at all. Uh, but then, again, you know. You gotta live. Uh, so Pakistan, uh, they call it emergency rule. You know, they don't call it martial law anymore. Emergency rule. <laughs> um, so anyway, yeah, you know the, you know the the White House is, you know, telling them they really got to end this thing because you really can't have a fair election if the opposition party can't leave their house. Uh, so yeah, you know, so we'll see. They're they're threatening to cut off funds, but we don't know whether that's going to happen. Uh, you know, and uh, then uh, there was an interesting story about something, yeah, abuse, uh, you know, but they don't have any facts. It's amazing when you live in a country, all this technology, and they have absolutely no way to collate, you know, how many kids have been killed by their parents, by, you know, whether it was a stepfather or a real father or this. None of that, they don't keep any statistics like that. So no one has any idea uh, regarding child abuse and how much of it, it's all a bunch of guesstimates. And it's really disgusting. Uh, but the one statistic they did have in the story that I thought was kind of interesting was 29% of uh, families are, you know, single parent. 
I, that's, that's a high number. Uh, this is a special GNU's interruption. Um, yeah, just for the purpose of putting an image in the middle of this video so it shows up as the icon, you see? And so I don't know which one of these images might end up there, but see this. First story is that, um, look, you know, they, they had that, um, what do you call that? Fredericks of Hollywood or something, you know, the fashion showy thing, whatever it's called. I usually watch this shit, but, uh, you know, I don't know why I missed it this year. Oh, that's right, I don't have cable anymore. <laughs> that's why. Uh, but anyway, these, these outfits the models are wearing get nuttier and nuttier. I saw some pictures, I'm saying I'm glad I missed it. I mean, it's just preposterous. What's the point? You got a naked woman and you need all this crap on top of her? It's bullshit. But anyway, and then also, you know, connected with the global warming story, they had this, you know, this is a funny picture. So here comes, here's, here's a funny picture. Watch this picture. Now see, that picture's got to make you laugh. I mean, it made me laugh. I mean, you can look at it a different way, you know? It's a, it's a lot of fucked up families, and, you know, maybe people just really shouldn't be having kids if they can't, you know, have, a, you know, or if they don't have a relationship that's a little more stable. Um, you know, it's a sad, sad, sad commentary on the social order. Uh, so anyway, uh, India, another funny India story with the monkeys. They got a real minky problem over there. <laughs> you know, the minkies are, they run up to people, steal their cell phones, and uh, you know, break into their houses and, you know, clean out the beer and the coke out of the refrigerator. I mean, really, they're doing this shit. And, uh, you know, because they don't have any place to live anymore, you know, those people everywhere, and so they're all moving into the cities, the monkeys, because they say, well, you gotta eat, you know, you gotta get some food. And so they're all becoming a bunch of uh, thugs and criminals. And uh, there is some concern that they're going to have a monkey mafia, you know, and, uh, you know, you don't know what's going to happen once that gets established, you know, so um, it is it is some concern. I mean, they did cause that, <clears throat> you know, whatever governor guy to, you know, fall off his balcony and, uh, you know, it's, now there's some conspiracy theories that that was really their intent. They did intend to to uh, wipe out the local authorities, you know, so they could, you know, <clears throat> Uh, uh, you know, complete their plan to, you know, kind of take over the town. So anyway, it's it's interesting, you know, see, monkeys. Who would have thought? Uh, okay, uh, the Swiss. Uh, this is an interesting story. I mean, they have assisted suicide. Well, they really don't perform any of these assisted suicides. They must have an awful lot of rules or something. They only do 190 of them. And uh, the funny part is, is that there's, you know, half of the people are from Germany. And so they, you know, they drive to Switzerland to go get their, you know, to die, <laughs> you know, uh, and, uh, you know, humanely. And, you know, they end up dying in their cars and stuff. And, you know, it's just, you know, it's saying, what, what's wrong with people? <clears throat> you know, it's, it's just a, it's a sad world. It's just pitiful that people have to get in their car and drive to another country uh, to die the way they want to, uh, you know, really, grow up world, really, grow up, you know, Jesus Christ, uh, <clears throat> so there's another Iraqi story, uh, 350,000 people are missing over there, I didn't realize that, you know, there were some stories about, you know, they found some more, you know, these graves with a bunch of people in them, you know, the, the <clears throat> Shiites and the Sunnis keep killing each other, and just, you know, they just throw the bodies in a pile somewhere, um, but 350,000 people are missing, according to the uh, Red Cross. So you know, there's probably going to be a lot of these mass graves found. It's, uh, I shouldn't laugh. It's not funny. It really is. This is just sad. I mean, there's, you know, more than 2 million people are uh, refugees, and you got another 350,000 are missing. It's just, it's not good. Um, so Sorry, this was a really irritating story. Uh, you know, I might commentate on this one for a while. Uh, Martha, M M Martha Stewart's uh, mother died, and you know she was 90 something, whatever. But why is this news? I mean, why? I mean, why? Why do we have such a, a fucked up culture that you know you get some celebrity, and all of a sudden, you know, whether you're not wh when your parent dies or something, it's fucking news. Why is that fucking news? She's not. Her mother's not a person of note. You know. I mean, are, you, are we going to announce every relative who dies of anybody who's famous? I mean, that's news. Uh, we, we should all be concerned, we should all, our hearts should all bleed, you know, for, for these people. I mean, just, this is so, I mean, this is, this is sick. It is, it is crazy to think that, that these, these um, prima donnas, these, whatever you want to call them, these, 
these 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 elitist rich fuck bastards who don't do anything in the world. I mean, look what they, they don't do anything. I mean, can you imagine if you had their kind of money? I mean, you could you could be doing YouTube contests for you know fifty thousand dollars. You could be giving away some real money, encourage people to do some real productive good, and they don't do shit. I mean, they buy their fucking goddamn castles and they got their seventeen houses and they don't pay their taxes. And I have to care whether their fucking mother dies. I really have to be informed and I have to waste some of my neurons thinking about poor Martha Stewart and her mother. I mean, fuck that. This is just such bullshit. Ugh, it's disgusting. So that's it. That's the news. Till next weekend. Um, till then.